Thanks for tuning in to Sonian's video presentation about growing your data and shrinking your data center. My name is Sam Moorhead, and I'll be joined here by Alec Phillips. How you doing, everybody? I just want to quickly go over the agenda. Uh, the problem that everybody here is facing is a data overload. There's an exponential growth of archived email data, and this is in turn causing heavy stress on servers in in-house email archiving. The solution we propose today is cloud-powered email archiving. And we're going to do a quick little comparison of cloud-powered versus on-premises archiving. The problem IT managers, and most people for that matter, are presented with is the ever-increasing data storage requirements. The amount of technological information is doubling every two years. Uh, it's estimated that four exabytes of unique information will be generated this year, and that is more than the previous 5,000 years combined. Also, all this information is being presented in new technologies with larger file sizes, like slideshows, HD movies, sound files, you name it. Well, <laughs> Alec mentioned that uh, the amount of technological information is doubling every two years. But what's interesting to see here is that the total worldwide email archiving growth measured in petabytes is doubling every year. Uh, just to put a petabyte into perspective, that's 20 million four-drawer filing cabinets filled with text. And if you were to stack those end-to-end, -end, that would circle the circumference of the Earth. So we're talking about a large amount of data growing very quickly. And this data growth creates a nightmare for IT departments who have to deal with all this Tier 3 storage data, slowing down servers, filling up racks, and overloading backup tapes. Alec already talked about the simple fact that there's just more information out there and that's being stored in larger files. Uh, there's a visual representation of these exploding attachment sizes that you can see below. Uh, recently, there's been a lot of compliance regulations increases. HIPAA, FRCP, Sarbanes-Oxley, SEC, DOD, FINRA. There, there's over a thousand of them out there. And these regulations are requiring companies to archive more email for longer retention periods. This is coupled with the fact that email use is increasing at 20% per year and message stores are increasing at over 35% per year. Uh, these uh, increasing requirements and increasing amount of data might make you feel a little bit overwhelmed. Uh, <laughs> this cartoon is a little scary, don't you think? Uh, <laughs> it might be a little bit, but anyway, we are... Uh, Moving on. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> All this increased data storage with the exploding attachment sizes coming from PowerPoints, coming from sent videos, coming from PDFs, are exploding inboxes, and the, all this extra data is having to be dealt with in the midst of increasing requirements, shrinking budgets, shrinking infrastructure resources, shrinking human resources, and the IT departments are basically just forced to do more with less. Now, what exactly does this mean for IT? Well, uh, in recent studies from IDG surveys, it's uh, shown that 71% of IT managers are tasked to find more cost-effective ways to manage email. 61% are expected to lower the burden on IT by outsourcing email storage and management. Many of, that, many of those are outsourcing to the cloud. And right now, only half of IT decision makers are confident in their ability to retrieve all information that is requested for e-discovery or other obligations. Now, uh, the, uh, the solution that we're proposing here is cloud-powered email archiving. I really like this analogy of a gas-guzzling car being like uh, an on-premises worm computing against the highly efficient pay-only-for-what-you-use Prius hybrid. So here's a chart I created comparing on-premises email archiving to cloud-powered email archiving. And I like to call it the unlimited plan. Uh, with cloud-powered offering, you get unlimited email archiving storage size. It doesn't matter how big these exploding attachments are. Uh, you get unlimited retention in the cloud. So this exponentially growing email data can be stored virtually forever, and uh, it's not going to create a problem for you. But big picture, what does it mean? Cloud archiving is the ultimate inefficiency when compared to on-premises archiving. In terms of storage capabilities and computing power, it is what you want when you need it. If, I'm trying to think of an analogy, if you were a clothing designer and after putting out a few samples, orders started pouring in 
<clears throat> excuse me, orders started pouring in, you could go out, you could rent a building, hire workers, train them, purchase machinery and supplies and other capital, and all this would take tons of time and money. Time and money you would want to spend designing clothes. That's what you're doing when you stay with on-premise archiving. On the other hand, you could find a facility with the infrastructure already in place, the manufacturing capability to fulfill your needs, hand them the orders, and within a day, you're looking for your next batch of orders. That's what it's like using a cloud-powered archiving service. Suppose you went with the on-premise service and the orders stopped coming in. Suddenly, you have all this real estate, staff, and equipment, and a phone ringing in the background. Um, <laughs> got that? All right. Uh, that's fine. Thanks for that helpful analogy, Alec. Uh, right here, I just want to go quickly over the visual representation of the <laughs> IT information overload. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, basically, you're getting all these different streams of data, and this right here, we're getting this spectrum of enterprise knowledge creation and creation flow. Uh, and email the exponentially growing data in there needs a simple, effective solution. And SaaS cloud-powered email archiving can provide the relief that the IT department needs. Uh, I'm sure you all already know this, but email has really become the lifeblood of the modern enterprise. It has replaced paper-based and verbal communications as the critical single element of the corporate communications infrastructure. And if I can just interrupt, I recently read a research report from Osterman that has found that 60% of the critical business information that the typical email user requires for his or her job is stored within the email system itself. And that's why Gartner analysts uh, recommend that the safest policy is really to store everything forever. On top of that, this is a good segue to the next slide, but with all this business information stored in the cloud, if you wanted to access it remotely, if you're working on a job site or working from home even, you don't have to deal with all the access codes and firewalls involved with trying to connect to an in-house server system. So Alec mentioned the immediate access you can have from anywhere and we've talked about the infinite scalability, the virtually infinite storage, uh, but one thing we haven't really mentioned is how much this will reduce the burden on the IT staff. You really won't have to be spending time, money, resources, installing infrastructure, worrying about overbuying or underbuying racks for your servers. And uh, this will also allow you to significantly shorten the backup window to reduce the burden on your servers. Or, in turn, if you would like to offer a much larger inbox to your end users, you could shorten the window from 90 days to 30 days, for example. And lastly, we're just going to tell you a little bit about Sonian. Before we wrap up, we were founded in 2006 by a team of messaging industry experts, and they have created the first hosted archiving service built specifically to leverage a cloud infrastructure. And uh, I think that concludes our presentation. Let's say anything else. Yeah, thank you for tuning in. And if you'd like to learn anything else about Sonian's cloud-powered email archiving service, uh, some contact information, or you can visit us at www.sonian.com. And don't forget to join us on Thursdays at 1 for our live demo. Thanks.